Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? Welcome to My Thoughts on a Book. And today's book is Peril at End House by Agatha Christie. Now, this is the eighth book in the Harcool Pyro. Pyro? Pyro? I, I probably didn't say that right series. This is the eighth one I found out today. This is the book I was reading for the Agathathon. And I didn't finish it yesterday for the Agathathon, so I already finished it today, so I did an unwrap up. But that's it today. I finished it. And it was so good. I, 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 I mean, I read so far only three Agatha Christie books, including this one. I, I showed them shit. The, the, there was one, uh, Harkul Pyro's Christmas, and I can't remember the third one. The third one. Um, if, if you want to know where they are, just look at my first Agathathon video. I, I talk about them there. So anyway, and so far I really enjoyed the books with uh, Harkul Pyro, though I only read two. I love them. I love the whole, I love Pyro and Hastings, I love their dynamic, I love Pyro's personality, and I love the time period, it's just, it's, it's like with Sherlock Holmes, just the whole time period and everything, it's just, there's something magical and sucking about it, and it really was sucking, I forgot how, how much the, how much, uh, the first time I read how cool, how cool Pyro, I was so sucked in, Oh, these are so good. And so was this story. So in this story, Harkul and Hastings, they're both... Uh, Harkul wants to to go on a um, retirement. Wants to retire. And he... Yeah, or he has retired. No, he wants to... That's it. He wants to retire. And him and Hastings... Hastings go to the Majestic Hotel. I can't remember where they said it was. They go there, and they sit in the garden, and they talk, and then a young woman by the name of Nick Buckley comes. I think Harkul gets up, then he trips, and she runs towards him, she helps him. And then they sit and talk for a few minutes, and then she gets up to go to the hotel to uh, meet with her friends. And she leaves her hat behind, and Harkul noticed that the hat has a bullet hole in it. And from there, our mystery begins. Why would someone fire at her? What is the secret of End House? That's where she lives. And so Harkul starts to investigate the whole thing because as it turns out, there's been several attempts on uh, Miss Nick Buckley already. And there's this whole mysterious house. And I forgot how magical this could all be. It was so awesome. And the whole mystery, that at the beginning I thought I was kind of certain who did it. This is what I love about this. I never know. I like, I thought it was one thing and then today as I finished it, I was no. I mean, bloody hell, the killer, it unbelievable who the killer turned out to be. I was mind blown. I couldn't believe it. I was like, nah. Come on, how, how did you figure that out? It was so awesome. Really, it was. Oh, I, lo I love these type of shock surprises. They're the best. It's like, no. Oh, and and Harkul's methods and everything. It's just awesome. I love how Hastings all pissed at him sometimes. It's also nice. Wait. Excuse me, that was my computer. Ugh, never mind. Uh, so this, this was really good. I really, I definitely want to find more of a uh, Harkul series. I do have one more book, which I think I'll be getting too soon because this was amazing. The whole mystery, the time period. Awesome. And also, I gotta say, this cover is bloody awesome. And it's bloody, look, blood. That's one of my favorite things about this as well. The cover. Actually, once you finish reading the book, you kind of understand why they did this cover. And it's awesome. I love this. 
I do wonder if the more modern versions also look nice, like this one. This is amazing. So, this was a fantastic book. So, um, if you like Agatha Christie, and, or you love the her cool pyro series as well, I recommend you, do you read this and give this a try. If you like detective stories, I also recommend you give this a try. Um, if you like stories that happened during the... What year are they? The, in, during the 1900s? Also give this a try. I love that time period. It's so awesome. The rules feel a bit strict, though, but still, it is awesome. I love this. So again, I recommend you give this a read. Uh, now I'm going to put it in preservation and get on to my next book. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. These were my thoughts. Uh, what are yours? Have you read this book? Are you going to read this book? Did you read it already? Do you have a video? Uh, if you do, leave me a link in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you thought. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Till next time. Bye.